all God. Exactly. Because God is salty. Yeah. Mm. Poseidon, God of the Seas. <laughs> okay. Well, this episode has started. Yep, there we go. Cold open, just like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Bam. Just like we open that door, we open this episode. Oh, your analogies are on point, as mm, always. Just like a pencil. <laughs> Freshly sharpened. I feel like I need to just restart the episode. <laughs> well, like, okay, so the, get it all out of yeah, your system. Yeah, there's a couple doors off to the side. And everything. Yeah, um, I got this. No, Never mind. You, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you said it as I was about to do it. Like I know no, the answer to this. I, uh, yeah. Oh, hello, testicle. Hey. Goodbye. Useless in here. Oh, did this? Oh, that was his weapon. Useless ahead. What does that say? <laughs> Germa head. Germa head. Oh. Hi, buddy. It's a dwarf. It's Just like our friend Govlon. He's, uh, he, he's gonna attack me, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's gonna attack you with an anvil on a chain. Um. You should get hit by that. I really think that's a terrible idea. You should get hit by that. <laughs> I really want that. wanted that as a weapon, but I don't think you can get it. Oh. It would have been so awesome. Biggest disappointment of the series. Anvil on a chain. Soul of a proud knight and a human effigy. Getting a lot of those. Okay, here we go. Now you need to make it to the other side. Easy. Hold on. Got okay. it. Okay. Excuse Man, me. You pardon keep me. like pushing them with the doors, and it's just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of pathetic. It's like they're there, and they're like, "I'm going to kill him," and then you open the door, and they're like, "Oh wait, go in this way now." Wait, no. This isn't. This isn't how it was supposed to work. <laughs> or they just ah. run out through there without. Oh. Oh, look at his butt cheeks. I'm not looking at his butt <laughs> no, 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 take a good look at his butt cheeks. Hurrah, for pointless. Somebody pause the video right now. Oh, there you go. Look at them butt cheeks. For all you, for all you, uh... For all you weird, like, pervs out there. Testicle, <laughs> testicle pervs. God. Freaking butt cheeks galore. Okay. How do you get through there? Oh, you have to pull the lever. Oh, I think the okay. lever opens both. On, for a second, those big goofy eyes, I thought that thing was still alive. <laughs> He's like, ha, I see you. <laughs> You've completely delegitimized them now that I know. I know. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Um. Oh, oh there we go. Is it? They're just. Wait. Maybe this one. Is it in one of the rooms? Is the switch like in one? No. Of the the switch has to be in one of the rooms. No, we would have seen it. Oh sh. Wait. Do I have to open? The... Well, wait. No, it's opening. Oh, okay. There you go. It's a trick. It's a little tricky. It's yeah. tricky. All right. Anything. Nope. Nope. Don't read those. Stop. Be wary of Stop this. reading. Stop oh. reading those. Stop reading those. Oh. Stop it right now. Is it because there's something terrible about I just want you to stop because you... Fuck you. You're giving yourself an unfair advantage. I want to see you suffer. <laughs> These messages have been more unhelpful. Is he peeing? Yep. Stop it. Stop pooping. <laughs> he was trying to pop a squat in the woods. Yeah, well, only I can do that. Okay. Fading soul. Okay. Inc incidentally, how's the bear shitting in the wood in wood industry going? Oh well, <laughs> outputs up. <laughs> oh come on, I blocked that. No need to poison me. Well, you can get fucking poisoned. <laughs> oh my god, the poisoning actually like added up as I was doing mm -hmm. the attack. No, he's throwing rocks at you. <laughs> Okay, you oh. just backhanded him. Okay, okay. God, there's so many. They're throwing rocks at you. I know, and they're poison rocks. You know, you, you know what I find funny is like, like you you walk into these guys' home, and the poisonous ones just have like bones on sticks as weapons, or just bones, and these guys are throwing rocks at you. You come in here dressed in full armor with a steel <laughs> battle axe and just wreck them. I don't know if I'd say I'd wreck them. You, I'd say they're putting up a pretty good fight. I mean, yeah, but like you just killed the aboriginal people of this land. What <laughs> the I, hell is wrong with you? Am I the bad guy? Yes. You're what? the bad guy of Dark Souls 2. All these crazy undead were just sitting here minding their own <laughs> damn business. What's Pharaoh's law? Uh, right down there, the square thing. We've already oh. gone over the lore of that as well. Pharaoh the Wanderer was um, an adventurer who created all these crazy contraptions. Oh, neat. Which, the next time you find a Pharaoh's uh, Lockstone area thing, I will make you use it. Oh, yeah, we need to... Oh. I know there's one back in the Lost Bastille, but we're not going back to that shit. There's also one back in the Undead, like, area thing. There's not a whole lot in the way of, like, firebombs. Uh, Witching Urn. Oh, okay. You already have it equipped, or you had it equipped. Oh. Go ahead and just lock onto one and throw it. Yeah. Frag out. 
That was excessively disappointing. I know. <laughs> I told you, firebombs just don't make that as much of an impact in this one. It just doesn't seem like they yeah, do much. Well, and you, you barely get any. I mean, Dark Souls 3, they loaded you up with firebombs. Dark Souls 3, I feel like they handed a lot to you. Yeah, like, I really, but the really game was really tough in certain areas. I, I breezed through it. Did you? Yeah. The I only... mean, I still think this is harder. I still find yeah. this way harder than Dark Souls 3. But... The, the only boss I had trouble with in Dark Souls 3 was... So, you know the tutorial boss? Yeah. Okay. So, he has another version when you go through the untended graves called Champion Gundir. Oh. And that one is where his second form is literally he just gets mad and freaking starts rage mode and does all of his attacks like twice as fast. Oh. Which is much harder than when he turns into a giant ball of slime that telegraphs his attacks like 30 years in advance. Mm -hmm. Um, That is the only boss I had a lot of trouble with and it really pissed me off because he was the only boss standing in the way of me actually getting the Artorius armor. Ah, uh, oh. You sure you want to go through there? Yeah. Look, it's just a bunch of uh, dead blood piles. Mm -hmm. This is bad. You should hit that tree. Hit that tree. Um, Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, God. Why does it have a face? I don't know. Should I continue doing what I'm doing? I don't know. If you want. It's really upset. I'm making it only more upset. Yeah. <laughs> okay, am I wasting everyone's time doing this? Yeah, probably. I need to know, because this will end up being the whole episode. Ha! What? What is... What am I looking at there? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Possibly nothing. Possibly everything. Well, it's dead. No, it's not. What? What? Is it really dead? Ha! <laughs> Is there another one? There are a lot more in this oh, area. No. And they're all invisible. Should I continue this? You should not continue hitting this. Stop okay. hitting the tree. <laughs> you told me to hit it. I told you to hit it, and you hit it. Now we're moving on. Alright. Uh, You're oh. also going to get very, very lost. Is... Um, this was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. No, it's fine. It's good. We're good. Everything's fine. Ooh, look, treasure chest. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Old sun ring. Hey, I see you. Oh god, there's there's more of them. Uh, uh, I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> no, no. Uh, drink, 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 drink. Thank you for waiting. Ah, ah, no, no, stop. Maybe you should put your fucking shield up. <laughs> no. The worst part about this is you get really reliant to locking on enemies, and you can't lock on to these guys. Do they ever end? Uh, well, I mean, you can kill all of them in this area, yes, but... Okay. That's all I needed to know. I have a mission. But they're pretty... I mean, they're, pre they're pretty decent enemies. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it. Alright, I see that guy over there. Do you really know? Ugh. So, I know Vengarl is in this area. Oh, they always end up with a sliver of health. And I'm trying to remember, like, how to get to him. Mm. Um, keep That's going. a cliff. Yeah, keep going this way. Oop. Go up there. Yeah, go up this way. Keep going. Uh, You're fine. Okay. Keep going. Alright. Keep following this. Ooh. Oh, it's a chest. Nice. Somebody died up here. Chlorine. Okay, you don't want to equip that right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, never mind. Maybe not right now. <laughs> Peace. There he goes. Okay, so equip <laughs> that in place of the uh, in place of the uh, binding ring, the ah. ring of binding. Okay. Because you have enough, uh, you have enough um, human entities right now that it really doesn't matter if you're. That your, you know, like, undead hauling thing is limited. <sighs> he's just freaking giving you the runaround. Yeah, he's he's getting out of my range like I got out of the blacksmith shop. Mm -hmm. There we go. By backpedaling. <laughs> Backstepping repeatedly. Alright, I'm gonna run back up there real quick. Yeah, also it's... remember that there was a cliff somewhere. Yeah. 
I think it was behind you. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was behind you. Okay, so just, yeah, go to that one. Binding. And then the green one. Raise the stamina recovery. Hey. Oh. And I, also, that's not you're him. Um, and deceptive. also, it was the Chloranthi ring plus one. So uh, it means it's a better version. <laughs> Okay, continue this way. Where the shit is Vengarl? I think he's over this way. He's in the fog, though. Yeah, keep going up this way. Okay. Keep following this path. Okay. Keep going. Uh. Stop hitting the tree. I just, I just have to. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Keep follow that wall. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you might have keep going up the stairs. I think you might have found him. This is cool. Or maybe... No, you went the right way. Shit, go back down. What? I, I'd go back like, down. Go oh, back down. I'd like to go the right way. No, that's too bad. I'm not going to let you get the bonfire uh, that you were like five feet from. Oh, come on! Was no, I you really... don't need to get the bonfire. Are you serious? I mean, you can go back and get it. You have the controller. Ugh, well... If I really didn't want you to get it, why would I have told you it was there? Um, just to toy with my emotions. Exactly. Alright, it's just up here, I assume? Uh, up... Oh, no, wait, wait, behind that. It was behind. It. Sorry, it was behind oh. what you just walked up. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Did you really need that item? Yeah, look, it's a radiant life gem. Oh my god. And the world would have ended had you not bought it or got it. So those are the guys that you were fighting. Okay. They look like the, um... Oh. They look like the phantoms that appear when you're, like, watching somebody else do something. Yeah, so it's kind of tricky, because, like, it can kind of look like it's go, just go another back. player. Go back. Oh. Behind that thing. Oh... Right there. Oh, look at that. So you could have missed it if you hadn't. Yeah, that's really tricky. Now, do they all come back if I... Yes. But I need to... You... I think once you light it, you'll spawn at it. Okay, well, they're all back, so you might as well go back down into the fog. Yeah. Because we need to find Vengarl, Ven and I know he's down there. Ignore the... Oh... <laughs> Ooh. What is it with you and walking off cliffs? I don't know, man. I'm just addicted to it. At the end of this series, we're going to make a <laughs> montage of all the time you almost or did walk off cliffs. I, that, that'd be too much editing Go to the right. that Go I would right. have to do. No, that would be just the right amount of editing. Oh. Kind of, yeah, kind of just go this way. Just kind of hug the wall and go this way. Uh, maybe not run blindly into the blinding mist. Nah, we're good. We're good. All right, if you say so. Well, wait, uh, oh. Okay, that's cool. Look around. What's over? Yes, you found him. Woo. So there's an NPC here. See if you can find him. Leave me be. He's just in the rocks, huh? Um. See that red thing? Yeah, that's he's, his his he's, helmet. He's just a head. Oh, <laughs> is he really just a yeah. head? Oh. Business have you here, traveler? I'm really not sure. I love this NPC. I, I identify with this with this NPC so much. <laughs> with the lost with skull in the, the fog. With just the like the the like sad head. <laughs> Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. He's very interesting. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then somebody killed me. Is that like his skeleton there? No. Yeah. He's just a head. Okay, no. Uh oh. Oh, you got invaded. Uh, you got invaded. Can the conversation. Uh, well, he's gonna come from that direction, so. Maybe. Well, there's nowhere else to come by. Oh, yeah, true. Maybe. Far removed from war. After all, we Um, I know not what brings you on this journey. Nor we can keep talking until the person comes to find me. Yeah, we should be fine. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. Well, you can't really pick and choose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's mean. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. Please tell me we can find his body. Yep, that's oh how you get. His, that's how you get uh, to buy his armor. Is you kill his body, you come back to him, and he sells you his armor. That's awesome. Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure he sells you his armor because he becomes a a, a merchant. Ooh, just a head. Yep. Oh, there's the guy. Hello, friend. All right, here we go. Watch my skills at work here. All right. 
Oh man, this dude's got some kind of crazy ass fucking katana. You're just gonna want to keep your shield up, man, and see if you can see if you can backstab. Oh, 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 chunked pretty well. He's probably gonna try and heal. Oh no, nope. He's just gonna ah, kill you immediately. I will heal though. Terrible idea. Nope. Terrible, terrible idea. Watch, he's gonna do something gay. Yep, I knew it. He's gonna do something <laughs> fucking like, oh, you're bad at this game. I'm so good. Uh, Bye. I mean, I mean, he gave me a, a fairly okay one. Mm, I I really <laughs> like. That's what I hate about Dark Souls PvP is literally every single freaking invader does something like, oh, I'm look at me. I'm such a. <laughs> I'm better than you, instead of just being like, oh, hey, like, good job, buddy. Like, I, every time I've invaded somebody because I had to do it for Covenant, I, like, bowed or something. Well, okay, I that's what I, in Dark Souls 3, I would say the majority of people who I did PvP against, they all bowed. Okay, so. And I thought that was cool. See, you got the nice people. Like, I always get the mean people that invade me. Well, maybe it's, I mean, I guess it could just depend, because you played it on console. Not that I'm saying consoles are. The console blah, 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 fucking blah. scrubs. But, uh. Dude, yeah, I mean the 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 player base is different. So. A little bit. Okay, so that talk might, to him again. That might be all it was. He has a lot to say. Yeah, like way too much to say. No, I love it. <laughs> Just the right amount. <laughs> Thanks to you. Did you enjoy the if watching me get me, murdered part? If you require something, do speak up. So, um, oh. Learn gesture. Decapitate. Decapitate. Oh. Uh, buy item. So you can actually buy a claymore from him, which is a really good greatsword that scales huh. with both strength and dexterity. And you can buy the greatsword, which is an ultra greatsword. But those are super heavy. Yeah, that thing is like giant. That thing like puts Cloud's Buster Sword from Final Fantasy to shame. <laughs> that okay, thing makes. But... Yeah. Now, I would not be able to wield the claymore properly, though. Well, no, you wouldn't, unless you were using two hands, but you only need 13 dexterity, and if you want to use a bow, you just need to dump five points into it. You need to dump five points into dexterity to wield the claymore. Now, if you want to give greatswords a shot, go for the claymore. Hmm. It's really one of the more balanced ones. Really? Yeah, I'd say just buy it. Just yeah. buy it just to have it. And then I can uh, upgrade the dexterity later. Yeah, I mean, you could upgrade the dexterity once you get through this area and you kill your next boss or something and just dump the points there. So that's one of the things I love about him is that he was a hired mercenary, but he respected the soldiers he fought with because they were all staring down the same enemy. They were all facing the same, uh, the same um, potential death. Mm. And so he, he respected every soldier he was fighting with just as much as he respected himself. That's really cool. Yeah. And I believe he was called Vengarl the Mad. Huh. Yeah, Ferosa. Distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a cell sword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. That raises okay. How long has it been from the time when there were wars and kings and mercenaries actually having use to where we are now? No one knows. Really? That's the that's the thing is like you can kind of get a sense of the timeline but not really. It's probably been I'd say I'd say it's been maybe anywhere from 20 to 30 years. To 100 years. Oh, wow. It's been a long time because you have to understand that everybody who's not undead is probably a demon. And anybody who's, like, actually alive is probably dead by now. Okay. Because the undead curse shows up and people people aren't people anymore. You know, so it's mankind been, in hasn't. like a general sense, it's been a lifetime. Oh, it's probably been a lifetime, if not a couple lifetimes, since this actually happened. Because when you look around, there's only one giant left. Who who does it really look like won the war? 
no one. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, don't I you guess think the there giants would be one if there was at least one living? Maybe, and you kind of think that there would be more than one giant alive if, like, the conflict was still very like recent, yeah. or there'd be more corpses around or something like that. So the forest of the fallen giants, there was literally enough time for an entire forest to grow from the corpses of the giants. Oh. So when you think of it in that sense. It's probably been, like I said, anywhere from 20 to 100 years. 100 years. That's crazy. So, anyway, um, so like I said, he becomes a merchant. You bought the Claymore, so you can kind of move on now. But he'll, if you kill his body, you'll actually get a really good set of armor, including oh. his helmet. Oh, right. Like, help him kill his body. Yeah, so that's how the Claymore kind of attacks, is like wide swings. I like that. So two-handed, I can wield it well. You can wield... Well, no, it actually doesn't look like you can. Nah, it's still, it still a little unwieldy. By it. But okay, yeah, I definitely want to upgrade that, because, uh, I mean, my base for my axe is 145, and that's also 145. 145. But so, I like I like great swords. Yeah, I but it also cool. sails with... It scales C and C, so you get a little bit extra out of it. Oh, um, nice, nice. But, I mean, what, what did you do in Dark Souls 3? I did uh, mace and shield. Okay, so you did basically sword and board. Yeah, basically. I that's, mean, that's I, the way I always tend to play. I do, I do great sword and shield. I usually do great sword and great shield because great shields have way better stability. Mm. Um, but I usually do a great sword as a weapon just because I feel like it has a little bit more reach and it does a little bit more damage. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let me rest here. At those people popping around. Kind of terrifying me. Freaking you out? A little bit. And, uh, okay. So, we're gonna carry on from here.